Okay, hello Pisces. How are you doing? This is um, Keeping It Classy. Alright, I'm doing a romance of a lifetime story read for you guys on how they feel about you. I hope you guys are having a blessed week and I hope your weekend is just as blessed. Alright, you guys, can you please hit the notification button below to be notified when I post a video. Like, share the video, please. Thank you. Hit the join button to become a member of my channel. I appreciate it. And most of all, subscribe. Any new viewers, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you for stopping by checking me out. Sit back and enjoy this read. All right. And I thank all my subscribers who have um, subscribed to my channel. I thank you much. I thank you for following me in on this, carrying on with me on this journey. Okay. All right. So let's get some cards to drop. Oh, you guys, I will be doing random readings. Um, I will post a message or a video that you know what I'm going to be doing the random free readings, Okay, and I'll give you my email so you can contact me if you want a um, random free reading Okay, and if you like the reading when I start charging you can continue to get further readings from me as well Okay, and I will let you know when I start charging as well. Okay, but for now I'll be doing uh, random free readings. Okay. All right let me get some cards to drop. Okay, romance of a lifetime on how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime on how they're feeling about Pisces. Ooh, too many cards fell. Okay, nine of cups. This person is holding on to you. They just think about you. They have wishful thinking about you. Okay. This person has a lot of other options on the table, but their mind's on you right now, okay? This person is wanting to move forward in a success with you. This is a water sign, um, earth, or it's an earth sign. They could have water and earth. Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn, or it could be a Scorpio, another, um, Pisces, and a can or a Cancer, okay? They're trying to manifest you. It's moving forward in a success. They're trying to manifest you back in their life or moving forward in a success with you, okay? They could have Aries in their chart as well. They, they're expecting a victory and getting you back. Or, yeah. Yeah, they want another chance. There's somebody that wants another chance. Okay. Oh, romance of a lifetime. Oh, how they feel about Darn, these cards are already dropping. They're not playing. Whew. Wow. Okay, and they're standing their ground. They're not giving up. They're going to fight for you. Libra. So some of you guys may be a Libra or they have Libra in their chart as well. Yep, the situation's dead. It may be dead in your eyes, you know, or you thought this was dead, but they're trying to bring this back to life. They're trying to revive what you guys used to have. Okay. Yeah, this person's wanting to commit with a commitment. They're coming in with a commitment this time. Where you guys may not have been committed to each other in the past, they want a commitment. Okay, they're mentally um stuck on you. They're going through a mental and physical struggle without you. All right, they watch you afar with someone else, and you may be involved with someone else. They watch you. You may not know it. You're this person's fulfillment. All right, the six of cups, somebody from your past, okay, they think about you a lot. They have nostalgia when it comes to you. They just think about you, okay, they feel like you're their soulmate, or this is a soulmate of yours. You guys were close in the past. I don't know what happened, you know, you guys had a close friendship in the past. Um, Romance of a lifetime, or how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime or how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime or how they feel about Pisces. Let's see. Yeah, this person's at a loss without you. Three of Swords. You're at a loss without you. They're sad. There's somebody that no longer wants to be separated from you. Okay, um, the five of um, pinnacles. Look at this. 
They're impoverished. They, they feel alone without you. They feel lonely without you. And it could be they're going through, if this was somebody that you used to have stability with, I don't see it up here. But if it's somebody you used to have stability with, or you may, they, they may be struggling financially, you know, maybe you stop giving this person money or something, but they miss you. Plain and simple. If that's not involved, they miss you. All right. This is a, somebody that isolates themselves, stays to themselves, and they're trying to get insight and um, allow themselves to be guided on making a decision on how to get you back or getting insight on how to win you back. All right, how to move to better waters. They feel victorious with you. The Six of Wands. Yeah, they want to win you back because they feel victorious with you. Hey, romance of a lifetime on how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime on how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime on how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime on how they feel about Pisces. Yeah, this person has Aries, Leo, or Sag in their chart as well. Romance of a lifetime on how they feel about Pisces because there's. Yeah, this person, some of you guys is a fire sign, some of you guys is air, some earth, some maybe water like you are, okay? Yep. And this, at, this person, um, they may have chose you over somebody else. They may chose you over a fire sign. Or this is just them. Or you could have chose this person over a fire sign. Okay, they want to move to better waters with you. They want to move better to better waters. Okay, and it's a secret. They're not telling you this. They're not expressing it to you. Okay. But look at... They're holding on to you. Look how this man hold on to this lady. They're trying to have creative ideas how to win you back. And this person may message you and tell you that they want to move to better waters with you. This person may tell you this. Okay, they're holding on to you. They're tugging at your heartstrings. They're going to keep tugging at your heartstrings. They're holding on. They're not letting go. Okay, so that's what I'm... That's your reading right there. So we're going to get some insight. Get some more insight with these cards. These other cards I have. Hipper cards. Okay, romance of a lifetime. On how they feel and what they want with um, Pisces. Romance of a lifetime. How they feel about and want with Pisces. Okay. Okay. Let me do them in order. I like to do them in order. Okay. Oh, this person wants courtship. They want to date you. They, they see you as... They, they feel like... It's a great fortune to have you in their life. They're very fortunate to have you in their life. There you go. Yeah. Thoughts, they do a lot of inner reflecting when it comes to you. You stay on this person's mind, wishful thinking. They think of you constantly. Nostalgia. Occupation. Okay. This person, um, they may work in the home. Or they could want to, yeah, they could want to work in the home. Maybe they see you as, um, that you may not mind them working in the home occupation. Or this is what they do for a living. Or they, they see you as, you know, somebody that works, you know, that keeps up, that keeps a job. Maybe other people they deal with, they don't keep jobs. 
could be something like that. All right. Maybe they see you as a hard worker. Maybe they feel you allow them to work in the home. This could be some of you guys may be hearing from a job that you put in. Maybe that's what that means. That could be for you guys. Occupation. You may be put in for a job. You may be getting a call for an interview. All right. So let's get some love messages. See what your person may want to say to you. Okay. Romance of a lifetime. On how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime. On how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime. On how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime. On how they feel about Pisces. Romance of a lifetime. On how they feel about Pisces. Okay. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. That may be for the cross watcher. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay. All right, Pisces. That's the end of you guys' um, story read. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some insight out of something to help you move forward in a situation. You may be feeling stuck. Maybe you hear something that gives you closure on a situation. All right. But you guys continue to be blessed. All right. Again, keep your eye open for when I post um, about random tree readings. Okay. All right, you guys. I love you guys. Be good. All right. Again, subscribe, like, share. Hit the notification button below, you guys. All right. Thank you. And comment below. Interact with me. All right.